Hey. <laughs> Hello, welcome. I'm Angie. You're at Reaction Talk. We I'm, got I'm rolling. Rolling, <laughs> rolling away with the mouse. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. It's okay. I was just we, kidding. Uh, we got a, we got a, yeah. Thunderstorm. It's there's a very storm exciting going. exciting right now. And a fire in the house. Oh, there's no real fire. Whew, man, it sure feels like it. It's, um, a wow. thing. We had to close the windows. Yeah, because it gets very warm. There's a storm. Yeah. To wait a minute. Why? We good. What Check this mean? out. Yeah. All right. Yeah, We've you? got, uh, this is, um. V.O.B., it's. The Noble, what is Noble? Holy Noble. Holy Noble. What um, is the Holy Noble? Yeah. Uh, super requested, and um, this is where we found it, so we're. What is the Holy Noble yeah. today? All right, let's yeah. check this out. Okay. On the is wasn't the first Nobel Prize to the guy who uh, didn't, didn't Nobel was war? invent was it the war no it was didn't he invent like TNT or something like that I'd have to look here hold on a second it's, hold on a second yeah we're gonna do something all right we're back no I I did I, I was yeah he, uh, Alfred Nobel invented dynamite I it was the play on words the whole with Mr. the war and destruction Mr Nobel so I just I uh. I thought that was cool. I like that. And, you know, war is horrible. So I, I understand the depth of this song. I can understand how people relate to all this stuff nowadays. Yeah. Um, very much so. Jesus Christ. 
I'm telling you, they they make some crazy good music. Yeah, like yeah. they I just, you know, crazy. And then the lyrics on top of it. Very powerful. Yeah. I, I uh, say. it's uh now if this is your first time oh, this is my honeys. Yeah. Reaction talk. Yeah. So you might not know this, but see I've been saying this since the beginning. I think you agree with this too. As long as we have people who are going to follow orders, there's going to be a struggle with this subject. I firmly believe that as long as people follow bad orders, I, I, I wish we had a solution, but it seems like everybody on all sides keeps following immoral orders because I guess the person giving the immoral orders is more important. I, I don't know how it works. Or whatever, yeah. We believe that... <clears throat> Blindly following orders is probably one of the biggest problems on this planet. Not questioning why we do what we do, just doing what we're told. Mm-hmm. Um, I so I, I struggle, and I think uh, war is horrible, just a, just a horrible thing. And I wonder why human beings keep in. I understand why the elite want to yeah. profit off it. Right. I understand that completely. It's a business for I them. don't understand why people follow their orders. If if the regular folks on the planet just said no, they really couldn't do much about it. The numbers really side with average citizens, not the powers that be. Right. So, just to keep in mind, in case we want to have a big discussion in, in the comments about unjust wars. Why don't they say no? Why don't they stop? Why don't we just stop doing it? Yep, stop. The people who hate it, st- stop doing it. Let let the people who want to profit off it go out in the field and beat each other over the heads for all we care. But if we stop doing what they ask, a lot of these problems will end. Mm-hmm. Stop following bad orders sorry yeah. Yeah. but because the the subject is so heavy well yeah and we're yeah i don't think Ange and i side on the everything will be okay if we just love each other no the people who want to control us want you to say that mm-hmm. so they can profit off of the people who will oppress you and that's just the problem is someone wants to profit off our oppression. And that's the same everywhere on every corner of the planet. Mm-hmm. And trust me, I don't think we got it going good over here. Mm-hmm. I, I personally side with the 50 people who didn't want to fund more war. Right. So that's the difference. This house, we don't want to fund any more nope. conflict. Nope. Either side. Nope. Because all it is is a, it's a money-making <clears throat> scheme. It's always been a money-making scheme. Just look up how many contractors are, are involved right now. Private contractors. Yeah. Oh, so you, it's a private businesses who are participating in war. Who's calling out those corporations that are profiting off of that? Yeah. And what about the people who are accepting and taking those jobs? Sure, they're making $90,000 U.S. dollars a year, 100000 U.K. dollars a year, right? Because they're following bad orders, yeah. and they are willing to sacrifice morals yeah. for money. Yeah, that's and and so I think in the end, Ange and I agree with uh, the ladies and their subject. The the war is. Uh, I don't think we agree with conflict in any form. I think the conversation is a lot bigger than I don't like it. Right. I don't think many people do like it. No, no. And then they project onto others that they do like it. Some people just accept some truths and then would like to get to the next step. Ah, uh, how about we charge all the people who make the missiles? How about everyone who makes missiles for a living stop going to work? <laughs> stop making missiles. If if people, if underprivileged everywhere can get all the free handouts they want, then I can't. don't see why all the missile manufacturers and our manufacturer people would just stop going to work and take your, your handout too. And now I'm only speaking for Americans at this point. But I'm just saying, if you want to see it end, stop making arms. Wow, that's really tough. So then when you turn and say, well, I've got to make ends meet. Do something else. Yep. 
Then do something else. Do something that doesn't violate the morality of human beings. Uh, do, do they have all the robots in place to make all the tanks and ships? Is that is that robots who build that? Stop building it for them! There you go. Stop building the robots that are trying to crawl in the attics. Ah, uh, sorry, babies. No, I hope it, I didn't ruin no, this no, for no, you. No, 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 no. Because we, it's a conversation, and we yeah. have to have a conversation. Because everybody, it's like you said. Oh, if we do, if we just be happy, and we just no. I'm, I'm tired of virtue signaling. I no. don't. I don't want to hear about how all war should end. I want to know what you want to do about Raytheon. I want to know what you want to do about general dynamics. There you go. I want to know Boston. what you want to do about the robots that are going to put us in our place. As long as you think the robot future is good, you'll never get peace. Yep. The robots aren't coming to give you peace. The robots are coming to give the elites peace <laughs> by putting us in our place. Mm -hmm. Now... You want to argue that? Come on. But if you just want to tell us how bad war is, yeah, yeah, we know that. We know war is bad. We know that. How about That's a given. Tell the people who are supporting the war by making the products that are used in the war, the private contractors who are making billions of dollars off the backs of people who are dumb enough to go out there and kill the every anybody they tell them to kill. Because... No. Tell them to stop side. doing it. Because once again, this is another perfect example. Every time, God is on every side of the fight. So then it gets a, what, it just depends on whose story I'm listening to? When Because God is always on every side of the fight. Because he's in almost everyone's heart on the planet. Well, So right. what, did you're saying... On one day, he picks one side. I don't think God's involved in all this. I think Here's, we're just hate each other. Well, the problem is, too, is that, I mean, so you got somebody involved who's a willing participant, okay? So if you have willing participants, willing humans who are willing to kill you mm -hmm. for money, yep. then where does the problem lie? Because if we didn't accept it and we rejected it, they're not going to get us to do it. They're yeah. just going to kill us instead, right? Well, that's, it's, that's the problem. So the, the, the guy who can never make you do anything has five guys below him. Those five guys make 15 other people do stuff. Then those 15 other people make 100 people do stuff and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. Mm -hmm. But there's this moment where there is... Four and a half billion of us and a couple hundred thousand of them. And that's what they don't want you to know. Mm -hmm. Who has the power? Where are the numbers? And I'm not talking just about the people in the field. I'm talking about all you pen pushers, all you people who sign those procurement orders and everything that goes against. And you might be sitting in some nice little cushy office with a really nice view of the lake. Yeah. You're just as culpable. Yeah, if you're if you're signing the requisition orders for the supply chain and all you do is logistics, which is the most expensive part of all military endeavors. Mm -hmm. If all you do is a secretary within the logistics department of the war machine, you're at fault too. Because you could just say no. And every corporation who waits for their next government contract, you're culpable. There. I'm just saying, now, if you want to have a real discussion, I think we're, we're starting. There you go. These issues would start fixing something. That's right. But a lot of people are too afraid. But they sure aren't afraid to get out the tissues and cry about war. Well, let's discuss it for real then once. Yeah, because it's been our whole lives. Yeah. We've never None gotten away from it. None of this has changed our whole life. Never. Our whole life. War, 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 war. We're in America. All of our family history is based on a war timelines. Everybody, all of Every, Europe. All of the world, okay? So, 
Let's stop participating in it. Yeah. And let's hold the people accountable who keep selling us out. Yeah. Like because said, without those people, they couldn't get nothing done. Remember? Yeah. There's only a few of them and a whole lot of us. That is. That's the truth. I, I, I just saying. Maybe let's, think about that. And let's hope that the translation, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of mistranslation. Oof. So let's just hope for some of the foreign audiences that the translation doesn't get lost. Yeah. Because, and there is an know, opportunity to, and it's just because if you made it this far, this is an opportunity where it all is a rant at the end. We right. could cut it off and, and run it as a bonus yeah, to can. not scare. Because we're not trying to scare you off. But this is one of the problems. We know why certain songs get requested. Along with them being good and awesome, you want the emotional charge from the subject matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm, I want to get charged up too. Let's talk about Raytheon missile systems. Let's talk about drones on the planet. I don't care how cute the little sport ones are. If you want to defend cute little sport drones, then you better justify... Sir, uh, position strikes and all the crap that Obama did military. with them, with the military we weaponized grade. drones. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's all sort of part of the same ballpark. Yeah. None of you get your play technology if the war machine doesn't get their killing technology. So you all have to decide if you want all the games and toys. All of it's going to be used against you your whole life from now on. Mm -hmm. And and the people who want to run the planet, I constantly say this, they brag about how much they want to put us all in our place. Right. So I'm not making anything up. No. You can dislike it, but I ain't lying. No. Oh, sorry. That's fine. So, well, people wanted to have a conversation. We had a conversation and... You want to, you want, yep. we're not going to, yeah, we don't virtue signal. We, we no. go right to the root cause. Let's yep. go right to the root cause. Let's talk Figure about it. Figure it out. All right. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye.